Hey guys, a quick video uh, on the uh, Wizard 220 telemetry setup. Uh, just an update and a, some new information. Uh, a user on the previous video had commented, uh, Curtis Ripnow had commented that there was a different way to wire the quad up um, to ha enable the uh, telemetry. Um, and it basically works identical, the same exact way. It's just a different way to wire it up. Um, so I'm going to show you that and then give you a reason why I think this is a, a better way to do it than in the previous video. So the previous video, the wire from the smart port came over here and hooked into uh, uh, UART, uh, this UART here. Um, and the issue with that is the wire, you cannot put the side plates on. So I'm, I'm a newer flyer and I'm still crashing. Uh, uh, yesterday I was trying to do a uh, power loop over a tree, more of a proximity power loop. I pulled the first two off perfectly fine, and then the next one I went into the ground really hard. Um, and because I'm just learning, I'm st and so those side plates for me I think are invaluable. But let me show you what happened. Um, so I cracked the entire bottom plate here, as you can see, um, it's gone, and in the front there, so the entire bottom plate snapped like that. And my opinion is, if I had had those side plates on, I think that would have provided some extra stability to this quad, to the quad frame. And these two pieces wouldn't have cracked like that, or uh, I don't know which way they cracked, but they're both broke. So I have to order, I have a new side uh, bottom plate on order that's three millimeters thick instead of this two millimeter thick one. Um, and I'm gonna put that on. But anyway, so that's the reason I think this is a better method. And now let me quickly show you the wiring and, and how you're going to set this up. So the wire coming, the original wire that in the previous video that we had coming from the uh, X4R receiver on the, uh, on the fourth pin over is going to come down. And instead of going to here, you're going to hook this into your, your main receiver cable that comes from your uh, receiver to, to your UART here. Um, and the way you're going to want to wire this up is if you notice here, you have your three, th these are the three. So basically what Banggood has done is they've left these three wires here and they've locked, they just cut all these other ones off because they weren't needed. What you're going to want to do is flip these little tabs up. I use an X-Acto knife and, uh, just get underneath the little white tab, pull that up, hold it up, and then you can slip the wires out. So you'll need to get a pair of pliers or something, uh, needle nose pliers or something, um, and try to grab on to these little cut ends, pop those up, pull those tabs out on port on five and six. So this is one, two, three, skip four, and then five and six, pull those out. And then you're going to want to take the wire coming from the smart port and you're going to want to daisy chain two wires off of that that are then going to go into five and six. Um, so what I did was I just took these two, soldered those together, and then I soldered this one on and put a piece of black heat shrink over it here. And then I slipped it, slip them back in the, the ports with the little tabs up and then get a pair of, you know, uh, needle nose pliers or whatever and really squeeze those tabs down good so they lock in and won't come out. Um, so that's the setup on here. Just plug your wire back in to, to where you have it for your uh, I-Bus or your S-Bus, whatever you're using. Um, and then I'll switch over and show the beta flight setup. Hey guys, um, now I'll show you what you need to do to enable the uh, telemetry uh, with this new setup and beta flight. So you're gonna wanna go to the configuration tab, uh, scroll down, uh, make sure soft serial telemetry uh, is selected, uh, save and reboot. Uh, then you're going to go to ports, and you'll notice now you have you, your three UARTs plus these two soft serials. So on soft serial two, you're going to want to turn on smart port for telemetry output um, and disable it for UART two if you had previously enabled it uh, from the, pre the video that we did earlier. Uh, reboot, um, and then that should be the setup. Uh, you'll want to plug, make sure the quad is plugged in. Go to your receiver. Uh, page, uh, select your model, page over uh, to your telemetry output screen, and then make sure the telemetry uh, is still working correctly. You should have your 11 or, I think it's 11 or 12 sensors 
Uh, make sure your VFAST is still your battery um, and that your alarms are still working. If not, you might have to, uh, on the telemetry output screen, delete. Uh, at the bottom, there's a delete all sensors. And then you might have to do a discovery sensor, uh, discover new sensors again. I'm not sure about that. I didn't have to do that, but I'm just guessing if it doesn't work, you might have to do that. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope that helped you guys. Thanks.